So what about Maggie? What's she like? <laughs> I, uh, I always like her so much. You know, she's so, she's smart and she's, she's tough and she's just but if you talk Jesus. enough sense, then you'll leave I just thought that we could go and have some fun. You'd keep each other company. You and me? Yes, why? why? What's, what's wrong with that? It's not like you're into this Maggie person. I, I didn't know you were into girls. I'm not. I'm father than I thought I could. Sorry. No, 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 I mean, no offense, Maggie. I no, I got it, you're not gay. Right. You'd be surprised how many gay women I've heard that from. And I'll lose you as a warning sign. has been nothing perfect. Not if you're talking perfect grades, perfect, sense, perfect you're job, being a perfect mind. sister, taking care of Kara. One part of my life that I've never been able to make perfect was in supposed to be. be. I just never really liked him. Like, I, I don't know, I mean, I, mean, I, I tried, you know, I got, I got asked out. I just, I never liked being I never, I never thought that it was because of the other, but I thought, maybe I, I mean, I don't When you first suggested that I was gay, I, uh, I denied you. And then, I thought that it was just about you. I mean, how would I not like you? We're not friends. Oh, okay. Um, I'm lost. What happened? We hung out. We got close. Then you called me out for liking you, and then I had the guts to admit, yes, it's true. Maybe there's some truth. I was proud to come out because it wasn't just some concept. It was about my feelings for this amazing woman. But now I don't feel liberated or like I am on some great journey. All I feel is pain because you don't want me. came out for me, and that scared me.